we have this little bedside table over here. Now I'm going to just make something that's a convenience size for me to work with to show you what I have to show you next and that's how to make the top wider than the base which is so common on these little bedside tables so it's not even the same proportions but it's just going to give me something I can talk to you about here And we made it two feet high, so I can walk it across. Not a bad idea to keep reminding yourself to walk. So this is a rather wide one. That would be easier to see. In our case, we have rather a restricted amount of space. So what you would more likely be doing is making the bottom narrower than the top in order for the top to look wider. So that would involve making an X on the bottom and dividing, deciding where, how much smaller should the base be than the top. So you, this sometimes takes a couple of tries. The first try is usually too much and then keep using your vanishing points. And this will give you the same proportion. This is a handy device. You can use it for all sorts of things. I had to use it on my lampshade because I had a broader base and a smaller top. This sometimes will go all the way to the back. So the only place where you have more width is actually at the front and the sides. So you might need to go all the way back. So you just have to look carefully at your references. And now I'm using these new corners. They will give me my, my, and the top I would leave the same. And just as I suspected, this is too much. It's sticking out too far. That looks a little strange. So you have to be patient and try it a couple of times. And then you have to look to your references to see how long are the legs. Or does it sit right on the floor? Some sit right on the floor, but you might be involved with some legs here. And it's also a good idea to draw all the way around, draw to the back as well. That way you can always, you won't possibly ever see the black leg which you don't know and I don't have a vertical up so I'm in trouble back there remember if you're ever trying to figure something out and you can't figure it out it's probably because you don't have a vertical up that you need so to put the legs on you just put those on when you're doing the legs remember that you're going to see at least two sides in perspective. Over here, for example, I'm going to see the inside and it goes to the left vanishing point. And then I'm going to see this side, which I see more clearly. And it it's going to be made by the right vanishing point.
when I go this way and go to the right vanishing point. So again, I see the inside. This is a common problem that you're not showing all the planes that you need to show or thicknesses. Often I don't see thicknesses on shelves. That's another area that is needs some work. Now, to find the center of the of this, I can take, if it's three boxes wide, I can take a half a foot here and bring it back, but I have to bring it back to the line that matters. Here's the line that matters, this blue line. So I would have to bring that up this way. And that would be my center. You could also make an X, but it's never where you think it's going to be. It's always a little bit different, so you gotta make sure you have it the right in the right place, because there's more space here and less there. Also remember that there is there has to be a place for hinges before you make the the drawers there has to be a place for hinges so and a little place for a little bit of depth for the thickness of it as well so you use your other vanishing point to give you that so lots to think about lots of detailing to do or it won't look authentic it won't look real. This is what makes it look more real. And if you're putting any sort of knobs up here, you they have to line up. So you give yourself a double line. No matter what shape they are, you give yourself a double line. And this you can estimate. Some of it you can estimate based on what you have already up there. But that's the idea. And to place things on top of it, remember to always use your vanishing points for that as well. So I had to make one large box that was completely for the whole lamb. And then I had to break it down into smaller boxes all along the way. Okay, so if I wanna divide this seed up, say I want to have the tufting um, three levels of three areas of tufting I've got three increments right here all I'd have to do is just bring this up to the top make sure your lines are straight if so I just have to bring my three increments up bring them across now quite often this won't work so if I have three across and you see it's working because they're getting smaller they're smaller mm -hmm. as they get back and go back in space so that's correct but what if I have four this way and I've got one two three and a half here the best thing to do I think is always to find the middle And even if you have, you're dividing up uneven numbers, you can get away with it if you divide in half. So that was easier for me to see than to try to get half on the top. So now I know where half is. If I can get this straight, I'll know where half is. The X always gives you half. So there's half. Now, I've got to divide this part into two, so that's easy to see, and I divide this into two. Whereas dividing into four would have been more tricky, at least now I've got half. And if you have something that has seven spaces that you have to divide up, just change it to six. It doesn't really matter. Oops, that doesn't look right. It doesn't really matter. And no one's going to look at it so closely that they're going to tell 
that you used only six increments rather than seven. You just have to get the spirit of the thing. You're not trying to um, make it. Uh, and then you can divide further if you need to. You can divide further. So that's the idea. Give yourself a little grid and that will help you to make decisions along the way. And these should be done in perspective as well, so I can put another line in. So that's why when you're doing one of these drawings, it's it's a game. You have to play the game. You have to figure out how how do I get what I'm after? And you have to maybe it's frustrating at first, but if you begin to enjoy the game, then you'll have greater success and look forward to every drawing rather than dreading it.